Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemay and joining me this morning is John Pepin from the Michigan DNR. Thank you for joining us. Sure. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And so we're just kind of catching up on things that are going on and it's the winter season and one of the things people can enjoy are going to the many state parks, correct? Well, a lot of state parks are open during the winter time and people may not realize that. Uh, there's skiing opportunities, but uh, also traveling to uh, places like Tequamanan Falls or the Big Spring. Uh, places that take on a whole new complexion during the winter time that you wouldn't see during the summertime. Just being there is a, a totally different experience during the changing season. All right, and so yeah, I guess um, can you just kind of uh, touch on the the differences between you know summer, fall, and and then to winter? Well, for one thing, there's not as many people in the winter, and then also it's quieter generally. And the like, for instance, a waterfall. If you go to a waterfall, um, it has a whole other character when half of it's covered in snow or ice, and uh, it's it's a lot different than your summer pictures would be, obviously. And then the big spring, which is an area that it's the state's largest free-flowing spring, you can still use the raft over that even in the winter time, and it's a constant 45 degree temperature, so it never freezes. And the big fish that are in the bottom are there all the time so it's fun to see all right great well thank you for joining us this morning john you're welcome yeah and for more information you can check out our website upmatters.com and to the local three news tonight at six o'clock five o'clock central for more local news weather and sports